Hi all, in this video we're going to be going through a loop that goes through a series collection. Now what is that? It is, well first of all, what's a series collection? This is a series collection, this would be series one, this would be series two, and in order to do this, uh, which is to change the bar based on the background color of a cell, what we need to do is we need to be able to loop through those. And so without further ado, let's get into the code. So I've got a uh, scratch pad code section here called scratch series. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to declare our variables. So CHT as chart object, and then we're going to dim CHRT as a chart. And then we're going to dim FS as a full series, as above average, that's wrong, as full series collection. So now what we need to do is we need to set those variables. So we're going to set CHT equal to sheet one, which is the code name, dot chart objects. And we're going to do chart object three. Why are we doing chart object three? It is the only one with two series collections. So if you click on either one of these, it's gonna give you each one of those. So that's what we're doing, we're looping through that. So we're gonna hard code that here real quick. And next thing we need to do is cht.activate. And that's going to set the focus on that. Next thing we need to do is we need to set chrt equal to active chart. Now what we need to do is we need to set FS, which is our full series collection, equal to CHRT dot full series collection. So now we've declared all of our variables. Now it's very simple. All we need to do is do a little loop and we're gonna get through each item. I didn't know what else to use, so I just called it item in FS. And I missed an each here. And then you're going to loop our next. Uh, now the key here, I'm going to use a little counter here, um, cnt is equal to cnt plus one, and then we're going to go msg, we're just going to do a message box to show you which one we're on, so it's going to be called currently, um, series, current series, and then we're going to go and which is going to put that together itm.name so make sure that that is correct there all right so what we have here is we've declared all our variables and we're just going to go through each item in our full series collection and it is slightly convoluted on how to get down to that chart but we're going to go through this one row at a time so f8 we're going to activate this chart. Let me shrink this down so you can actually see. So it is activated. We're going to set the chart equal to the active chart. Now we're gonna set it to a full series. Now you'll notice that these variables come up in my locals window, and now we're gonna go through each one. And so um, in this count, um, I actually use later in my other code. But now if I click this, it's going to give me a message that I'm currently on vehicles. And the reason I put the message box in there is because it shows you what we're doing. And so now we're on the 15. And so this is kind of the last step before we put all of this together as we really show you how to code and color a chart based on the background color of a cell. Hope you enjoy it.